All right, guys, I thought I'd do a, a quick unboxing of the uh, Space Marine Storm Talon gunship. Of course, as soon as it came out, I had to get one because I got a bit of a weakness for uh, Space Marine flyers, stroke skimmers. Who knows with the sixth edition? But uh, yeah, had to get one. So let's have a look what's inside, guys. Okay then. All right then. Let's have a squint at the uh, instructions first. Usual standard layout by the looks of it. Main halls in two pieces. Yeah, I can see where the two vectored engines will be going through on a, a rod there. The uh, salt cannon at the front moves backwards and forwards, or I should say left to right actually. Yeah, there's the uh, the rod. That will be free moving, that's a nice touch. I like the fact that the vectored engines can move up and down. And then of course you've just got the um, weapon selections. Yeah, actually it's a very simple model by the looks of it. Let's have a look at the uh, sprues. You get two sprues by the looks of it. Let's have a look at this one first, which is the main one. Okay then. This is one short model, this is, guys. But nonetheless, I am looking forward to building this. I can't imagine it actually taking too long to build either. Yeah, so there's the um, the bottom of the hull. And finally, they've actually got a, a cut-out profile for their yeah, marvellous-looking stands. So at least it's actually not going to drop off your uh, flight, ba that flight base this time, but... That's a good uh, improvement. As um, looks very similar to a Storm Raven. Yeah, that's right, a Storm Raven. It looks like a Storm Eagle and a Storm Raven have got together and produced a love child <laughs> called the Storm Talon. A short, dumpy um, attack craft, but nonetheless, I am still looking forward to building it. Nice cockpit. I like that. They usually I always find that the cockpits and most of the other things they always seem very cramped and small but that's, that's really quite a large one. What would have been a nice touch, and I don't think it is, let me just check the front art cover. No, it would have been a nice touch if you actually had two pilots, like one sat at the front and one slightly elevated above him. But uh, no, it's a one man crew by the looks of it. Some nice details on the uh, console there. That'll look nice picked out. Yeah, not a lot to it, to be honest, guys. This thing is not going to take much building at all. I'll upload a little bit uh, vid um, once I have built it and just have a quick discussion about it in case I had any problems with the build so I can let you guys know or anything like that. And then, of course, you've got the standard flying bait. Nice large um, canopy. I do like this canopy. That's going to look nice on there. Yeah, gonna have to build it, guys. And of course, you do get the standard decal sheet. I wish they'd bury that up a little bit. It's a bit boring having the same old decal sheet all the while. You end up with loads of them. So yeah, that's it, guys. An interesting model. I'm looking forward to building it. It won't take me long. Uh, I can see me having a couple of these because I, I know uh, it's a love-hate sort of thing. This is really. You'll either like it or you won't. But like I say, I've got a bit of a weakness for these models, so I had to have one. Um, I find this a little bit odd. It's like it's almost as if the foot is on back to front. It just because you know when I think if I remember right on the Storm Raven, that's actually the other way around. You have that elevated bit there, going that way. So I don't know. There might be some options anyway to have, whether you have the legs down or up. I'll check that out and actually build it. So yeah, there you go guys, quick unboxing, uh, I'll let you know how I get on, so cheers for watching, take it easy, see you in the next one.